can the technique used by the Green Berets help you manage your nerves and be more connected to the audience? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. This past weekend, I was at a terrific storytelling event that was hosted by my friend, Colonel Scott Mann. Scott is a retired Green Beret. He served in the military for over 22 years. Today, he's an author, speaker, trainer. He's, he's a top-notch, world-renowned leadership expert. This weekend, Scott shared a technique that at first glance, I thought, well, how's that going to help me as a speaker? But once we experienced it, help me see how you can be so much more in touch with a room and also manage your emotions better every time you speak. The technique is called SILLS, S-L-L-S. It stands for Stop, Look, Listen, Smell. It actually involves all five of your senses. Now, the way the Green Berets use it is that whenever they're dropped into a situation, they usually work in teams of 12. Let's say they're being dropped into the deserts of Afghanistan. The moment the helicopter takes off, everyone takes a knee and they engage their five senses. They listen. They listen into the distance, medium range, short range. Any noises they're not accustomed to or could spell trouble. They smell. Is, is there an uncommon or unfamiliar smell in the air that needs to that they need to pay attention to? They sight. They look everywhere they can to see if there's anything unusual. Taste and touch. They involve all five. Scott had us go through this exercise, actually in a garden at the center where we were staying. And I was amazed within five minutes how I was so much more in tune with my environment. And what he explained and what I later experienced is that when you go into a speaking situation, get there as soon as you can, preferably if nobody's in the room. Get a feel for the speaking area. Close your eyes and just listen. Are there any unusual noises that could be a distraction during your speech? Well, if you know about those ahead of time, they won't interrupt your thoughts. They won't interrupt your presentation. You'll know they're there. Look around the room. Go to different areas, the corners. Look for distractions or in, intrusions to your sight line. Anything that will keep them from experiencing your talk. Smell the room. Could there be distracting food smells? You know, if, if people are hungry and this, if there's food in the air, they may not be paying attention to your speech. See how the room temperature feels. How do the chairs feel? I know what you may be thinking. Boy, this seems like a lot to do. It really isn't. In less than five minutes, you can get a much better sense of how the room is. What will it be like for the audience? It will connect you with them, and it'll make you feel more comfortable. It'll be like home. It's not some new environment. I've seen speakers walk in to a room at the last second, and they really weren't connected to the room because they had no feel for the, the temperature, the mood of the audience. They didn't have any idea what the sight lines, the lighting, all that. It was foreign to them, and they didn't give good presentations because of that. They didn't connect with the audience, that's for sure. If you want to be better connected with the room that you're speaking in, and ultimately the audience, use this technique that the Green Berets use. Stop. Look, listen, smell, see, and taste everything you can in the room, and it'll make for a much more enjoyable and sensory-rich experience for you and your audience. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.